You inherit a playlist. Yeah. Change the name. One million um, yeah. followers at that time. Yeah. By the time you was done, putting in, your I, touch yeah, on it. Yeah. How many followers? I don't know. I think it was like it was like eight. No, I, nine, know. I don't know it was what it is. Nine million. Nine million. Okay. Okay. Nine okay. million followers. I, yeah. By but, the time. By, by you, the way. By the way. I never cared about the follower part. Okay. I only cared, to be honest with you, the follow part, I looked at it as a vanity metric, right? Because not all the followers are going to be listening all the time, right? The part I cared about was the numbers you couldn't see. And that was the daily active users and the monthly active users. The daily active users, for me, represented the passionate core. And those are the most important to, to me, is that not to punish the believers or the early you know what I mean, or the, the, the thing? And, and then the monthly active users was the casual, right? And that was a big number, it was, I'm, not, I'm not even, probably legally even allowed to say, but it was a big number, the monthly active users was more casual. And so those are the, the numbers that you weren't able to see, and it, they'll fluctuate. And, and you, I, I could see people listen on this day more than this day, or this day this, and this is a good day to, you know what I mean? Freshen it up. And so that's that's actually what I believe. Okay, here, I'm gonna drop the gem. And this is what I learned at MTV. MTV jams had no ratings. So I was, I learned to not care about the number of viewers, to care about the number of believers. Because a viewer just watches. You were asking about the difference between a chef and a cook. A viewer just watches. A believer watches tells a friend, looks up an artist on social media, or goes and downloads, at the time iTunes was big, downloads a song on iTunes, buys a ticket to the show, right? Watches again. And then tells a friend who they put on to that, like, oh, okay, and I'm, I watched it on MTV. So now you have more. So you have a compound effect. A viewer is passive, it just watches, and you get your number, but then, it comes and goes, right? You built your house on the sand, right? The, the, the artists that get those casual fans that really don't like have that thing. Oh, sorry, sorry. That mic. Is, is, I'm oh, sorry, sorry. Is, they, they, that's one, those are the ones that come and go because nobody cares. So the, here, I'll just give you a gem. This is how I live in terms of the way I work. So that's why I'm never, I was never interested in the fall. I let the, other people say, talk about that. I couldn't care less if that shit was a hundred. If I was a hundred, I would go, no, it's hundred, I'm gonna go hard for, and I'd rather have a hundred believers than fucking a hundred thousand followers. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful gem, yeah. beautiful gem. You know, I remember coming up to Spotify to visit you, yeah. and it was my first introduction into the new music industry. Mm. Um, it, it it was it, the, the company. It's a tech company yeah. that just happens to specialize in music. Um, but you were able to share something with me that stuck with me to this day because I, that, that's when I knew it's time for me to move on. Mm -hmm. When I got into the music industry, everything was about this. It was about your air. It was about your heart. It was about what you felt. You introduced me to technology, data analytics and the way you were walking me through the process of showing this is going to be a hit tuma i've never even heard of this person come here look at this and you're showing me the data behind records that we never even heard of how for you you're getting older in the game you're learning a new skill set how much do you believe in metrics or analytics and data versus what you can hear? Because it's it's very different well, now. Well, uh, I'm going to quote Troy Carter, who, who was the head of like artist labor yep. relations at Spotify. He used to use this term, and I really liked it because it really represented what we're talking about. It was the balance between data and gut, right? And the data, data and what? Data and gut. Okay. Right? So the data part is what's happening. It's not really, it's not about the numbers. It's, it's about the behavior. So if you're looking and this many people are searching for something or this many people are saving stuff into their own playlist, you know what I mean? It's, it's, your, it's, it's a sign of interest or a sign of uh, follow-up 
you know, uh, if 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 something is has low skip rates, then people aren't skipping it. Like the skips don't lie. Like you know what I mean? That's just, like you know, like uh, like the Shakira, you know? Yeah, he he, he got it. it is, I appreciate that too. So but, but what happens is, so things like that were just basically early indicators. You know what I mean? And signals. So it wasn't always um, biblical because that's where the gut comes in. You know, like why? Or is this actually any good? Or is this just because people are doing the hokey pokey, which is the latest dance craze? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Is, is, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, and no knock to the hokey pokey, you know? But, but you had to basically like, like, like be like, okay, what's actually going on here? And, and who, who is this? Are these like five-year-olds or are these like, like the people in the clubs that actually make things pop and hot and, 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 and go back to the, their school and, and people actually like uh, pay attention or like to what they're wearing or, you know what I mean, et cetera, et cetera. So, so that was the, and then the gut is also just listen to, is it any good? Or, and when I say any good, it's not about my taste. But it's more about like um, I read it in a book. It's called emotional quality control, right? Emotional quality control. Mercedes does it, where they have a car, but they still have someone go and sit in it and see how does the feel. Yeah, how does it how does it smell? Like you know what I mean? Like you know, like okay, it's ready. There was oh, it's something's off. Like you know, maybe you see what I'm saying? So the so so that's where the music part and the listening part. It's like, yo, this is actually like really, really good. Or this is like really, really different. And maybe this will work in a more experimental, maybe this will work in a workout playlist. Maybe this will work in our early bets where the the consumers, or not even consumers, because the consumer is a cold word, where the, uh, uh, the fans. fans, yeah, exactly, the fans are more adventurous, you know, than these ones who, who are uh, very, very busy because they got kids, you know, et cetera. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.